got the keys. Welcome to the Not For Hire YouTube channel. Today we're here with Old Red. And uh, we're going to be going to a show, a cow show, today. And, uh, well, actually it's a fair and there's a, a show at it. But I figured maybe some of you guys want to see what we do for fun, I guess. With my girlfriend's hobby. So, yeah, here we go. But first thing we have to do is take the fifth wheel hitch out because I can't hook up to the gooseneck with it on. So the fun of pulling pins and pulling the hitch off. So let me get doing that. Got it off. That thing is heavy. Heavy, heavy to do by yourself, but it's done. This is my uh, handmade controller. I plugged it into a trailer plug so I can run the winch. I got the same thing on the winch, and I got the same controller for the dump body. And I could disconnect it when I don't use it so nothing gets hit. I dump all my stuff out. But... Been dumped it in a while, so I'm gonna check it out. I gotta put the pins in the hitch too. It's only I only have one set of pins, so when I take the gooseneck hitch or the fifth wheel out, I gotta pin the gooseneck. So it's a pain, but nope, I'm already stuff's falling out. But as you can see, this bed is not that strong. It's uh, I didn't make it to be a dump truck. I made it just so I can oh do this clean it out real good, work on anything I need to work on, and then put it back down. I do plan on redoing this bed and bracing it up so I can use it like a regular dump truck. It'd just be a little more useful, but it's always full of tools and tires and stuff, so I never use it. But Plus, I got dump truck and a dump trailer, so don't really need another dump truck. Well, I could always use another dump truck. Why not, right? Alright, everything looked good, so let's put it back down. And uh, now we're going to hook up to the, the gooseneck.
see that? I almost got the corner of the snowmobile trailer. I didn't. I looked right over it. I didn't see it. Didn't hit anything. First time in a year to so hook up to the gooseneck. That's no good. So that's gonna need air. I'm sure the rest of them are gonna need air. I gotta check everything. Let's see if the lights are working. It's a poor trailer. Too. Nice. Let's see if the old compression will fire up. Ugh, full of water. Good old dumpster compressor. Got everything ready to go. And we're uh, headed off to the fair to set up. I was getting hangry, so he had to pull over. You happy now? You got your food? You got your happy meal? to the fair no problem I'm just managing to get everything unloaded and get it all set up so 
I'll show you when it's all set up what it looks like. Okay, we're all done. Ready for the cows to show up tomorrow. Well, we're gonna bring them, but. All right, I have one more thing to do. Um, right down the road is uh, my girlfriend's family's house. And I gotta pick up my camper and bring it to the, the fair now. Um, pretty nice trailer. Yeah, that was scrapped too at one point. I'll uh, give you guys a tour of that probably later on this week. Well, later on in this video, I should say. All right, let's go. Come back, grab the gooseneck, go home. Like a dog clipper. And the second time. He's not really a fan, but I can see the what is what are you doing? Keep moving. Okay, maybe I have this stuff. Goes on here. Spray it like this, cools off the blades. What are you doing? sets of clippers. This is the other set of clippers I use on the body. They usually don't like the noise but they get used to it. This is Eliza. This is that little calf that you guys used to see over there. She's now a pretty good sized heifer. So this and is her. Pregnant, hopefully. Yeah, hopefully she's bred. And uh, this is her first show that she's going to. So this is her first first formal haircut. So it's a big day. Moving. Yes, and we have the very strict mother over here. She's gonna mess up her belly line if she doesn't stop. Fun fact: her mother is the one we brought to Vermont with Old Red up to Mount Pelier, Vermont. Uh, I made a video of a, I think it was a 10-hour round trip, or I think that's what it was. Something like that is the title. One with the head through.
Oh, she needs some hay. Do not try this at home. <laughs> Morning everybody. It's uh, time to get the cows loaded and head off to the fair. So, here we go. No! No! <laughs> ah, the stresses of loading cows. Okay. Come on. Come on, Harriet. First one of the 2021 show season. Good. Come on. First trailer ride. Come on. There you go. Come on. Can you push and stop? Come on. There you go. <laughs> She's looking climbing a mountain. Go. Come on. Go. Oh. Her her legs. Go. Her. I'm trying. I won't be recording because we're towing cows, but yeah. Picked up a few more on the way. All in. Time for baths and haircuts. We'd have two Holsteins this year, but obviously you guys know what happened, so. This is what I do. I just sit here, wait for them to poop, pick it up, put it in the wheelbarrow, and eat. Wait for the fair to open so I can go get fair food and stuff my face. Yeah, what kind of truck is that? I'm gonna go look at that thing. Chevy cab over Bud Light truck. What's well, not to love right there? I mean, I don't really like Bud Light, but it's pretty cool. Cool truck. Still washing. Three down, plus that one. Three more to go. She lives for this shit. Like, we like trucks, she likes cows. Total whack job. That thing is nuts.
day two now. All kinds of cool stuff. So neat. Uh, what a behemoth! Oh, it's still only six lug. Go home.
Connecticut River, in case you're wondering. Alright, made it home no problem last night. I uh, just put my generator back in my truck. I gotta go get the camper. Uh, and yeah, so we're gonna take a ride up, grab the camper now. Move it to the next fair. Alright, all hooked up. They put the pile of manure right in front of my trailer, which is real nice. But, got it hooked up. Let's uh, bring it to the next fair. After I plug the trailer lights in. Perfect. Alright, made it to the next fair. I forgot I didn't give you guys a tour of the camper. Uh, interior lights. Well, everything's made into beds, but usually has a wraparound, um, wraparound couch there with a table. Then it's got the couch that pulls out into a bed. And then it has another bedroom up here that we don't even use because I don't have the mattress right now. Uh, I just got this over the winter, so. Um, and believe it or not, this trailer is, it's salvaged. Or at least it was salvaged out. It's not salvaged anymore, but it was salvaged at one time. And uh, I I got it. I fixed it up. And here it is. You can't even tell. Like new. So you guys are probably wondering if he placed. And uh, Victoria, my girlfriend's here to explain to you who won what and why. So go ahead, Victoria. All right, so first is for um, the dairy animals, which is Eliza. So Eliza and I went into showmanship, which is basically like the overall, um, how I show her, how she looks, um, not on her breed, but more of like overall fitting and, and showing her. So I got second in that. And then um, when I went into breed class, which is basically how the animal is themselves, so they basically judge them on uh, their dairy characteristics, their feet and legs, how they walk on their feet and legs, um, and how they are overall appearance. So she got first place in that. And then she went in against all of the other age groups. So basically she's born in the summer, but she went against calves that are born uh, in the winter, the fall, and the spring. And that could age from one, uh, one month old to one year's old and she got a reserve junior champion in that and then she went in for overall of all the breeds so that includes calves cows um, of all the breeds and she got reserve grand champion in that um, so then uh, for Harriet which is the little beef cow um, she got first place in her class and then she went in against all of the other animals um, of the age between one month and one, uh, two years old. And she got junior champion, and then she got grand champion, and then she went in against uh, all the other breeds, all the other cows, and she got reserve, beef reserve supreme champion. And then Virginia is Harriet's mom, and she got first place in her class. And she got beef senior champion, which means that uh, that's for cows. So cows are considered senior. So she, uh, the heifers are junior and then the cows are senior. So she got beef senior champion. She was the only one in her class. And then she went in against Harriet because uh, Harriet won the junior. So the juniors and the seniors will go against each other. And uh, Harriet actually beat her mom and her mom got reserve. So... That's really all for the for the ribbons, but uh, Harriet did the best with Eliza, and Virginia did pretty well also. So, are you happy with that? Yeah. <laughs> Good. And this little shriveled up thing is 
the ribbon I won. They had a, a boyfriend league, <laughs> or a boyfriend class, uh, for all the boyfriends that never showed, basically. So, I got third place, uh, first time ever showing. So, there we go, out of, uh, I think it was like 10 or 12 people. All right, everyone, that's going to wrap it up for this video. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed, and maybe you guys learned something about cows that you didn't know before, or about showing cows. But, yeah, this is uh, my life for two months out of the year is showing with her, so that's why you guys haven't got any videos or anything like that. But if you guys stuck around, and it seems like a lot of you did, I appreciate you. Um, and to the new subscribers, uh, I appreciate you guys watching too. And uh, leave a comment. Ask me any question you want about cows, or uh, just leave a comment down below and Hit like if you liked the video, and uh, subscribe if you're not subscribed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching!